A shocking injury in the Caribbean Premier League as two players collided heavily in the outfield in a match between the Barbados Tridents and the St Kitts and Nevis Patriots. Both running at full speed. AB de Villiers sent the ball towards Long On, where Patriots players John John Smuts and Kieran Powell collided. Powell and JJ Smuts, they're the two that have gone down in a heap. That is nasty. Both thought they were in the game for the catch. The impact left both batsmen down as support staff and players rushed to bring aid. Just run into each other, so he will need some assistance. Uh, Oba Goldson, the physiotherapist there, signaling for the stretcher. Powell appeared to take the brunt of the blow and was slower to get up. That ball sailed over his head. But Pakistan has lost their man. This is a tremendous catch. Absolutely stunning from Tofi Kumar. But there was a collision. No one called. And it really was a terrific effort in the end. And there I think it's... Bazir Khan, who's been uh, hit quite badly by that jolt. One for 14, two 12 for 5. Good running. Oh, dear me, that's a nasty collision. That is very nasty. Full length dive by Shazad. And it's Faf Duplessis diving in from backward point. This could be problems. Bang. That's not nice. That's ugly. Oh, that is not a very good sight. I hope they're both okay. It's not about the head. It's Colin Miller again. Bowling his off spinners. Well, oh, that's got in the air. This is going to be safe, is it? No, this might be out. Oh, there's a collision. That's how they differentiate between them. Oh, fuck it. oh well, that's a real sight. That's a knockdown. Sidhu has gone into Steve Buckner and has he hurt himself? Taking the helmet off. Quite a crunch there, and both go down. Well, two strong men, two big men. And look at this collision. Sidhu's eyes were on the ball, not on Buckner. Buckner was trying to take position, and that is a real, you call it a football or a rugby tackle. That position that was strengthened when Anwar collided with the umpire Nazir Jr. and injured his neck. Oh, he's rolled over the umpire, Nazir, straight into him, he's up much quicker than is the player. The batsman was clearly worse off than the umpire. He struck, whoops, it's gone a bit crazy with the running between wickets, and now Mongier is hurt. He's yeah, it's a real mix-up for Freedy, and this is going to be very close. They're both running in the same line, and uh, neither wanted to go. They picked it up on the bounce, and he's hit him straight in the middle. No one's fault, just an accident that... He's gone. He ran into the ball now. Similar happened today. Campbell is down on the ground, but he bounced into the bowler. He'll have to go. Same thing happened earlier today with the run out of Michael Devon. Up. 
bounced into the bowler today, King, and Sherman Campbell will have to go. Crowd doesn't like it. But that is the law. And Campbell run out. Two crucial setbacks for the West Indies in quick succession. The injury to Jimmy Adams, and now the run out of Sherwin Campbell. Always pretty unfortunate when things like this do happen, but the ball is in his right to try and get to the ball. And Sherwin Campbell colliding with him, with him trying to get across. Randwick in, replacing Martin Smith. That's a good delivery there from Lance Cairns. And uh, I think it's a push in the back that would be the decision. If that was the MCG, Lance Cairns uh, quite upset about it all. And uh, he is to be appealing for interference. And I think he's also suggested to Kim Hughes, keep out of my way. I should say that's pretty good advice if he decides that that's Ken. He's a meat inspector by trade and he carries a fair amount of beef with him. And no doubt you're quite right, the MCG. I don't know, not only would have been a free kick, I think he'd have probably got a 10 yard penalty as well. Pushing the back. That's excellent running. It could be out. No, they're back. I think they're back. I think the throw was too slow. He went the wrong end. He had Mark Walker, Elliot, and uh, Walk collided. Matthew Elliott got run out in that way against uh, New South Wales in a uh, shield match when he crashed with Warren Ayres. But really, why didn't he go for the bowler's end here? There they collapse. Look, he's down. He's got the ball. Look at that. Why wouldn't he take the bails off? And I think that Mark Waugh's got back. Elliot. Whoa!